Yo, Clutch, check this little guy out. Check it out. Hey, dude. Oh, good morning. You're just always sleepy, aren't you? <laughs> Here you go, Clutch. <laughs> I learned that my videos are just light years better if I use these as much as, as dumb as these things are. They're really helpful. Does it look good? Yeah. Do I look good? You always look good. I'm kind of ugly today. I'm always looking for ways to make my vlogs top tier quality. And to, I just want to give this lens a shot. If I don't like it, I can always bring it back, but <laughs> yo, check these out. We want to do a little extra touch on our 5.3 uh, clothes. So now we got these little tags that we're going to sew to the bottom of the shirts. Gonna be kind of like that. How sick is that, dude? Finally selling some of the old Evo parts. I've got a bunch of people interested in a lot of stuff. I might be trading this for something that I really need. Yo, you guys check this out. So I had a subscriber tell me about this. You know, I'll just show you. Really? A bag for a box? So I've wanted to do these for forever, but I had a subscriber tell me to do them this way. So these are a bunch of just little sticky, uh, really, really sticky double-sided tape things. Let me show you what the hell we're doing here. So <laughs> this is a vortex generator. You can get actual vortex generators that are super expensive from websites, uh, and they're usually like two, three hundred bucks. If you buy them individually, you can just literally stick them on here, and I think that sticking them on looks cooler than a whole strip. I've really wanted a vortex generator on here for forever because they're gonna look really, really nice. And they might look cool with the secret sauce. Can you see the sauce right now? Yeah, you can see the sauce. Let's go, dude. I think these vortex generators look really cool on these cars, but I hate that they have this ugly ass strip that goes across. I'm hoping that they stick really easily on the, on the roof. So uh, we'll see, let me clean this up and uh, let's start installing them. So not only can your surface not be dirty, it can't have a waxy substance on it. So if you've recently waxed your car, you need to make sure you use a really sturdy soap to get the wax off or it's gonna fall right off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of these and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I want them. So they're just gonna go on kind of like this. And I'm gonna evenly space them out and mark exactly where I want them to be. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, I've got 10 of these things. So I need to basically put five on each side of the little, uh, of the antenna. For those of you who think you're never gonna do math again after school, you're a little bit wrong. So it's 42 inches, the back is 42 inches long, and I wanna have a little bit of a space. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the one to the 41, giving me an inch on each side. So I'm gonna start, that will give me about an inch. So I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna go from the one to the 41, which means I have 40 inches to use. A few moments later. Yo, did y'all think I was kidding, bro? 303 bucks. And it's got four per side. Look at this. With a sick ass design we just did. <laughs> we got five on each side, bro. It's done, dude. That's it. Doesn't it look so sick? I love it, dude. It's just, it turned out so clean and I couldn't have, couldn't be happier <laughs> with it.
so I love the I love vortex generators, especially when cars are wingless. I, I don't know. I just I've always had sort of a soft spot for vortex generators. I think they look really really tight. It was a little difficult. I I had a little bit of inconsistency in exactly where I started, so you can barely tell. But um, this one is closer to the antenna than that one, and that's definitely gonna bother me. <laughs> but it's kind of uh, it's kind of just there. It's 100% my fault, but for some reason, I think I, I did more of an accurate measurement over here because I'm right-handed and it was a lot easier for me to measure on this side. On the other side, I was kind of like really awkwardly looking for it, looking at it, but um, I, it's probably like maybe half an inch over on this side. It's, it's okay. I'm not really super bummed about it. It's one of those things that I'm going to be bummed about it now, but uh, I'm going to completely forget about it in the future. So there you go. 20 That's is insane to me. $20 for what I just did right there, as compared to $300 of something that's probably gonna actually end up falling off. I've actually had friends that have put vortex generators on and because the, the generator is an entire thing, um, people have actually had it pick up under a piece that's barely exposed to wind and the upward pressure literally just whoosh, zooms it right off. The nice thing is if I lose any of these, which I guarantee you I won't because they are on there, um, the thing's 20 bucks to go and, and, and redo. Dude, I think it adds such a cool little touch to it. Especially with the wingless look, it just kind of gives it some sort of dynamic profile. And I don't know, it just puts something else on the car. I love it. Dude, as much as I'd love to go out and take some rollers of this sucker right now, Big Boy's having some problems uh, with that, with the motor. Ever since we got it tuned and everything, it's had a slight oil leak. But I checked the oil the other day and it was almost gone. So uh, I refilled it back up with oil and I'm just not really driving it right now. I also pointed out um, that the wastegate was leaking a little bit and I did fix the wastegate as well, but it's still losing oil. So I'm gonna try just to keep this in the garage as much as I can until I can go to my tuner. Oh, this garbage, bro. You got you freaking guys tossing this crap around. The sea turtles could eat this, dummies. I wanna pull the car out and show you guys, or at least see it in the sun, because I just think it's just such a better dynamic to see it in real life. I have something I've been wanting to do to the Evo for a while, thanks to Premium Auto Styling. Uh, they sent me these a while ago, and I just keep on forgetting to do it. The third brake light, as you can see, just does not match at all. Hey, guess what? Red tail lights, white third brake light. So I'm going to actually touch that up today, and then I know this is not really relevant to the video, but I actually am going to be tinting the, the tail lights on the Lexus as well. These need to be blacked out because I don't like seeing the LEDs. As, as much as I love the lights, I don't like seeing the, the crystally LEDs. So I have some blackout stuff I'm going to do for this, and that's what we're going to do. Just making the cars clean today. But DIY, $20, Vortex generator, amazing. I actually got something just sent to my P.O. box. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's a, it's a plate frame. It's black. I, I mean, are you just tired of seeing the plate with uh, with nothing? <laughs> Maybe they're just tired of seeing it with nothing there. There's a note. There's always a note. Throw this on the wife's car. Thomas from Frisco, Texas. Oh, true. Oh, that I get it now. We just got black accents for it and I think this black plate frame would look so tight. Yeah, dude. That looks a hundred times better, dude. The beauty of this car is gonna be so good now. Oh, I like that it has that matching TBL. And the generators.
this. So the guy that sent me this uh, vinyl is the one who actually did my taillights for me. And he sent this to me. He's like, yo, uh, this is the hardest vinyl to work with, by the way. You're probably definitely going to mess up. And I was like, oh, I'll bet. I'm pretty decent at doing vinyl work. And definitely messed up a lot. Um, but to be fair, there's vinyl all, ar uh, all around the sides, and it's really hard to attach vinyl to vinyl. So y'all get the point. It looks a little better now that you can't see the little crystal. Anyways, let's get this sucker pulled out. I want to show you guys this in the sunlight. Here we go. Dude, I'm just saying it just it just adds this little detail that's it's just so nice and just aesthetically appealing to the outside of the car. Okay, speaking of non-aesthetically appealing, I said I would never get rid of the sticker. Captain Eyesore over here. We're gonna give him a speedy death. Damn! We, we went ahead and decapitated him. Just so we could have a nice, quick, easy death. Um sorry dude. Damn dude, this is nuts. Man, I was, I'm really bummed we're taking this guy off, man. He's really just been there for me for a long time. And just freaking Ghost is on here now, man. Come on. Oh, that's going to take a, a hot amount of work to get this crap off. So, uh, if you're going to do this a DIY way, I mean, do it like me, but be a little more precise with your measurement. And don't, uh, don't have a good hand. Because <laughs> that slightly off-centered look is going to bother me a little bit. But let me go ahead and show you from the front. I don't know, man. I just love the way it gives a... It just gives the car such a nice little mean little look. Man, I really hope you guys are liking this new lens. My wheels are, oh my God, my wheels are already dirty. My car is already dirty. I'm gonna lower her a little more and we still got stuff coming. Oh, and by the way, we're not gonna be haunted by the ghost of Wiener Man's past. He's gone for forever now. I guess just let me know what you guys think, dude. It's a really cool mod, I think. And especially from a distance, it just kind of gives it that, just kind of gives it a different element. If you don't like it, I don't give a damn. I don't give a frick, bro. Cause... Oh, and then I completely forgot. But we've got the uh, the third brake light, which now matches the uh, other two brake lights. The one and two brake lights. So that kind of gives it a little nicer touch. And thankfully, that's uh, I didn't do that for no reason. That like brake light's going to be transferable to a different trunk. If I... Oh, god dang it. I can't see that. There she is, boys. Wait, let's get a little bit of light in here. Bring a little bit of that, that, little, that little sun in here. Mmm, baby. We put on the license plate frame. Big shout out to my boy for sending that to us. It matches the, uh, the black accents of the car. And we definitely need to go ahead and clean this damn thing again. We need to clean all of our cars. This one not so much because uh, she's always getting beat up in an event. Mm. 